husband saw a photo of himself in his wife's purse. He said, I see, you take me everywhere you go. Yes, I do, she replied. Wherever I come across a problem, I look at a picture and the problem disappears. The husband said, My, I didn't realize that I have such an effect on you. And the wife explained, Yes, I see the picture and I say to myself, What problem can be greater than this problem I already have? Friends, we often hear such jokes about marriage. They are funny because they bear a kernel of truth. That is, marriage is challenging because it involves two sinners trying to do life together. Not only is marriage challenging, its very foundations are being challenged today. People with opposite sex attraction would say, Why do we need to get married? I don't need a piece of paper to show my love. Why should I be subjected to moral standards of antiquated religions? On the other hand, people who are same-sex attracted would say, Why can't we get married? That is our rights. Why should we be subjected to religious moral standards? Friends, God is not a religion. He is the Creator. God's standards are not just meant for religious people, but for His creation to have optimal conditions to flourish. His laws reveal His nature, which establish the boundaries for human flourishing. His will is meant for our good, whether we recognize it or not. God established the institution of marriage to reflect the love of Christ for the church and God for His creation. And so as a community of faith, we must respond by faith. Ephesians 5.31 For this reason, a man shall leave his mother and father and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great, but I'm speaking with reference to Christ and the church. Amen.